always happens to me. I come back from holiday, not with the holiday blues, but with like an overwhelming anxiety to declutter my life. However, when jet lag kicks in, I'm feeling lazy too. It's this like push-pull feeling where I want to declutter, but I'm too tired to declutter. So I'm going to do a lazy man's, or lazy person's, whoa, <laughs> decluttering vlog with you right now. Simply decluttering seven, no, 10 items per day for one week and seeing how I feel. Tulip, what are you doing? <laughs> they must have missed me while I was overseas. All right, I'm gonna start with where I'm feeling most overwhelmed, the pantry. I feel like it's jam-packed with just things that shouldn't be there. Check out what I mean. I just, there's just stuff everywhere. It's disorganized, it's not stocked, stacked neatly. I need to do something about it right now. So just declutter seven things. It's simple, can I just, just stop talking about it and just do it. All right, I'm gonna double time and try and declutter and semi-tidy at the same time. How efficient. All right, so this is not necessarily decluttering, it's more consolidating, but as I said, it's a lazy mad person's decluttering vlog today. I'm gonna to count this as one. Six things left to go. I have no idea what this belongs to, so I'm gonna get rid of this and count it as two. This is surprisingly invigorating, and I'm only two things in. Again, I have no idea what this is, so I'm going to count it as three and put it in the bin. And even if I did know what it was, I feel like it's just too dangerous to have this in my household with my kids. So I hit a bit of a roadblock. I can't actually find anything to declutter. However, I did find one of my spare bowls with this in it, which is kind of gross. So I can throw this out. It's not going to count. At least I'll have a spare bowl back because I've been short of these. So I couldn't find much more in the pantry. So I'm working on all those funny little nooks and crannies where like stuff accumulates and gets dumped and hidden. I found some just pieces of paper, which I can declutter. That makes it four. So random, but I found biodegradable drop sheets. Like that's not from me. I don't know who's that from. Anyway, I don't need it. It's going. A pile of random pieces of paper, receipts, old instructions. They can just go straight into the recycling bin. That would make it six. All right, I just popped upstairs to put a jumper on because I was freezing, but with, I actually did done all right. And I found my final seven thing to get rid of. I just need to check with someone from my home to make sure that I'm throwing something out that's important. But I've hit seven pieces and I, it's not really decluttered at all, but it's definitely tidier. And it didn't take long. And I feel really inspired for day two. All right, keep following, let's do this. Day two, I am killing this and I am feeling increasingly more happier, lighter, and the greatest sense of, I think, clarity. This is why I love minimalism so much. All right, so my phone was just about to die. So instead of recording whilst decluttering and then having my phone die in the middle of it, I just pop my phone on charge for five minutes and dive straight into my wardrobe. And without even sitting there counting, I actually picked out seven things. These are items that don't fit me anymore. They've got stains on them. They're tired um, or they're too big or they just don't actually reflect my sense of style anymore. Not that it's changed dramatically at all, but just since getting my colors done, I'm aware of a couple of saturated colors, like for example, this that doesn't actually suit me and my skin tone so some of these I'm going to give away some of these I'm going to give to a friend of mine who is looking to make some extra money on the side and I've done a deal with her she can keep 50% of whatever I sell so I feel like this is just winning on so many different levels woohoo bring on day three day three so whilst the kids are playing downstairs I'm going to just tackle some of their toys Whilst they have no idea. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering about my why my hair looks so disgusting and greasy, it's because I have head lice. I'm up to my fifth round of head lice treatment. Yay. Just living the dream. 
I have nits and so do my kids. Whilst my kids are playing downstairs with no idea what I'm actually doing, I'm gonna just tip the whole basket of toys upside down and just find simply seven things to discard that are either broken, they don't play with anymore. And when I say discard, of course, I will do this responsibly and ideally give it away if I can. I hear this so much right now. My kids have so many toys, so many they don't play with. Seriously. It's worse than I thought. This is gonna take me a lot longer than I planned. Like there is just so much stuff. Every time birthdays, Christmas, gifts, just, I need to learn to say no. On the upside, I'm finding things that I've been missing for ages. This can definitely go, everything attached to it. I actually lost my phone for a bit because it got lost under all this stuff. But I found my seven things and I can actually throw it out because they do not belong to anyone. They do, these should not be donated. These need to go into the bin. So even though I've actually gotten rid of more than seven things, I've broken my rule, the room actually doesn't look any better. It doesn't look any more tidy or organized. Even with all of this stuff, now about to be discarded. Day three, at least done. And I can now wash this treatment out of my hair. I'm probably gonna have to do another sixth round of treatments because I'm still scratching like a banshee. Also mental note to self, I have to do all the laundry, that is wash all of the bed sheets and towels for the fifth time. Day four, I'm gonna declutter my car, which I know sounds silly, but if you knew my kids and how messy they are, they'd, you'd know that this is actually a really positive move in my life. And I have a feeling, whoa, Peppy, that's gross. Oh, even Tulip's wondering what's going on. Uh, there's a lot to declutter in here. I'm gonna hit seven really easily. My kids are so disgusting, like Tupperware containers, rubbish. Random stuff in my kid's car, my kid's car. They treat it like their car, it's actually my car. A magnifying glass, because that's what you need in the car. My kids are like their dad. Really, really messy, oh my gosh. All right, okay, so there have been a few things that have been thrown in the bin, but that was just in my kid's back seat. Hmm. All right, we have snacks in the car, which I could just eat and get rid of. I don't need snacks in the car, that's just, and then lollies in the car, which I know my kids don't like, so I can definitely get rid of those. What else can I find? Deep in here, face cream. Ooh, cash. Oh my God, that is so disgusting. Peppy, really? Really, Peppy? Uh, uh, six and some extra stuff, but I, I feel like I can't really count that. Okay, I'm kind of cheating here, but I've at least got more than seven things. And seven, the Diflam cough lollipop. Oh, sorry, sorry. Day three, no, day four, I can't even count anymore. Day four done. And okay, looking a lot calmer. Obviously still totally disgusting and dirty, but it looks less messy. Would you say so, Peppy? All right, Peppy, come on, out we get. Peppy, Peppy, Peppy. No, Peppy. Peppy, please. Please, Peppy, Peppy. I'm not naked, I promise you. I'm just wearing a strapless swimsuit. I have been in the ocean doing a quick afternoon dip before I run and pick up the kids. Now, I'm gonna just jump in the moment and do today's decluttering. Seven things from my bathroom, starting with my cosmetics, moving into the medicine cabinet. <sighs> this is gonna be hard because I do regularly declutter this. 
all right so these are my like lotions and potions and things that i've been given that i haven't had a chance to use so what i'm going to do is go through each of these and anything i think i'm not going to use in the next 12 months i'm going to put in this box which i just have here and i'm going to give it to my girls daycare teachers because they are so lovely and they'll get a chance to hopefully use this sooner than i will all right let's do this So I did manage to find some things that I'm happy to give away that I know I'm not going to get a chance to use. And I still have all my beautiful lotion and potions here and I can see everything. So I haven't, don't even need to attack the medicine cabinet. I actually hit my seven things already. And I thought I was, this was going to be hard. It looks so much neater and I have so much more space. The things we tell ourselves that we can't do. Day six, I'm doing the cupboard that I really don't want to do, and that is my work cupboard, which I know doesn't look too bad, but every time I look at this, I feel sick. But I just need to remind myself that it's only seven things. It won't take long. All right, you can do this, Kenna. All right, making progress already. So I have this. I don't need this. This is taking up space. I can get rid of the box. The cardboard box can go. And that will create more space and room in here. Which means things like this up here can go in here. Hmm. This can go back on my bedside table. All right, I'm just gonna take a moment and try and keep this a little bit more neater and organized perhaps all right i'm just going to keep my equipment a bit more grouped together so camera stuff here podcasting stuff here cords down there oh that belongs okay that's a lot more organized Whoa, whoops. oh god whoopsies okay so i'm keeping little bits and bobs like little annoying cords like that to group together here a lot more organized I'm getting there. Old papers that I definitely do not need. All right, I've kind of lost count, but I just feel like I need to get rid of two things and then I will be actually, I will feel like I would have accomplished something. But I have to say that suddenly looks quite a bit more tidy and feels less anxiety ridden when I open up the doors. Can I do that? Can that be six? Um. Uh. Uh. This is a problem. I hit the jackpot. There's a book, which is a beautiful book, but I'm happy to let it go. It's called Kindfulness. I've read it. It's time to just release it and let someone else really enjoy reading it. Wow, I even left it. found a note from my... And I will re drop... Oh, it's a... I think Rocco did that. Oh, wow, that would be really old. Okay, now that's cool. I'm not getting rid of that. All right, done. I'm really proud of myself and this looks so much... Just more in control. Day seven. So far, I'm pretty proud of what I've done through this like lazy person's guide to decluttering. I've done my wardrobe. I've done the kids' toys. I've done my work cupboard. I've done my bathroom. I've done my car. I've done the pantry. Like I feel like I've done a pretty comprehensive declutter from a lazy person's perspective. So today is day seven. And what I'm thinking I want to do is declutter decorative pieces. That is Things that are like on my surfaces that don't necessarily need to really be there. They're no longer serve its purpose or are actually just distracting me. So watch me do this. 
Okay, we have a classic example here what I'm talking about. Tom's birthday was in June. We don't need to keep that birthday card up, even though I wrote my beautiful card with beautiful words. And then we have this Easter egg that was created by, I think, Apple. Again, I can put that in a box with all the other kids' art. Now, if I just reorganize the fruit bowl, which obviously needs to be restocked, that service area is looking a lot tidier. So two done. Getting rid of not actually de decorative clutter, but just clutter on this desk. Papers that are ready to be discarded or shredded. Puppy, look at this. Little puppy, little puppy, little puppy. Oh, can you pop? Yes. Can you pop that in the bathroom, please? Yes. Thank you. Hang on. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> it'll be okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, how much better does this now look? And easier to clean. All right, grouping items together in trays rather than just having stuff spread across the surface. And redecorating with intention. Just keeping the minimal things on my bedside table. Instead of clutter like this, and taking my decorative pieces and spreading them out far and wide. <laughs> so much better. Wow, I actually did it. I decluttered seven things for seven days. My lazy guide to minimalism decluttering and try to, I guess, create more lightness in your life. Now, I'd love to share with you what I learned from doing this the insights, the hacks, the tips, and I guess the wisdom behind all this. So let me know if you'd like me to share this with you in another video. All right, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it inspired you to look at living with less.